Hello everyone, I'm David Morgan, that other Dave, and welcome back to the Craig and Dave channel, where we dive into the world of tech with a side of sarcasm and a huge dash of reality check. Today, we're talking about something you can't just alt F4 out of your life, your biometrics. So what are biometrics? Imagine your body is like a password, but instead of numbers and letters, it's your fingerprints, your face, or even your iris that unlocks your secrets. That's biometric technology for you, using your physical characteristics to identify and verify who you are. Now you've probably used it when unlocking your phone with a touch or a glance, or maybe even at the airport where they scan your face faster than you can say, I pack my own bags, honest. But it's not just about convenience. Biometrics are spreading like wildfire, from workplaces to leisure centers, and uh, that's where things get a bit sticky. Take Circo Leisure, for instance. The ICO, basically the UK's privacy police, caught them red-handed using facial recognition and a fingerprint scanning to check if their staff were actually working and not just chilling in the sauna. Not cool, right? The big issue here is consent and alternatives, folks. Imagine if your school demanded your fingerprints to clock in and clock out. Feels a little bit like a sci-fi dystopia, but it's happening. Circo's employees weren't given a choice and the ICO was not having it. They said it was neither fair nor proportionate. And Circo, they said, oops, are bad, but also, well, no one complained about it before. Now let's talk about why you can't treat biometrics like a bad password, because they are forever. Lose your bank card, cancel it. Forget your password, reset it. But if someone steals your biometric data, you're in a real pickle. You can't just grow a new face or new fingerprints. And that's the scary part about biometric breaches. So what can we do? Well, we've got rights, people. You should be able to say no to biometric systems and still be able to punch in for work. Think old school ID cards, pins, all those fobs that are always at the bottom of your bag. They might not be as flashy, uh, but at least you can replace them. But here's the thing, biometrics can feel like Big Brother is watching. Constant surveillance is creepy and the risks are high. Imagine if the system gets your face wrong and suddenly you're locked out of your own life. Or worse, someone else is living it up as you. So we've got to talk ethics and law. It's about power, who has it and who's being watched. Informed consent and clear data policies are a must. Luckily, the ICO is stepping up with new guidelines for companies thinking about jumping on the biometric bandwagon. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. Some folks argue biometrics are the future for security and efficiency. They say it's about keeping people safe and nailing the bad guys. But the question is, at what cost? As we wrap up, remember, it's all about the balance between security and privacy. You've got to stay informed and know your rights when it comes to your personal data. Should biometrics be used for anything else? Uh, that's a multi-million dollar question. Let's not forget the key points. Biometrics are cool, but irreversible. Consent is king. Alternatives are a must. Privacy is priceless and always, always, always read the fine print. To summarize today's video, Biometric data, such as fingerprints and facial recognition, is permanent and cannot be changed like a password. Consent and the option to opt out of biometric systems are crucial, with alternatives like ID cards and fobs being necessary. The misuse of biometric data can lead to significant privacy concerns and a risk of identity theft if the data is breached. Ethical and legal considerations must be addressed when implementing biometric technology. And individuals should be informed and aware of their rights regarding their personal data. Thanks for tuning in. 
keep your faces and fingerprints safe and make sure to hit subscribe for more Tech Talk with a Twist. Until next time, keep your wit sharp and your passwords secret. Catch you on the flip side.